Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna prep the skin using the Mario Badescu spray. Then we're gonna go in with this Urban Decay Optical Illusion Smoothing Primer all over the face, just press it in. And then we're gonna start on these brows. Now I'm cleaning up the brows using this ColourPop Concealer. And then we're gonna go back and prime again using this Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer. And then we're gonna take these Morphe highlighter drops and we're gonna apply them to the highest points of the cheekbones. And I'm also gonna add a little bit on my nose. Now I'm blending it out a little bit with my finger and oh my God, look at how good that highlight is popping. Now I'm gonna go over it a little bit cause it is pretty intense. Take a little bit on my eyes, a little bit on my nose, forehead. Now I'm gonna go with my Maybelline Fit Me uh, foundation and I'm gonna blend everything out using this brush from Morphe got to be careful with those brows and I like to go over everything with a sponge just to blend it all in to make it more skin like now we're going to cream contour using this Makeup Revolution contour foundation stick. And I got a little too happy on this side. <laughs> yeah. Take a little bit on my forehead. Do a little nose contour. I usually don't do that. And we're just going to blend this baby out. And we are blending. Next, we're gonna use concealer, that same ColourPop concealer. Go underneath the eyes, down the bridge of my nose, the eyelids to use as a uh, eyeshadow primer, and a little bit on the chin. And so now we're just gonna blend everything out. I'm gonna do the chin, the nose, little bit on the forehead just to bring a little bit of brightness my eyes blend that out and then after the eyes I'm going to take whatever is left over just to make my contour a little sharper and now that the uh, concealer has set a little bit we're going to go ahead and blend all that out and now I'm just blending it all together making sure that it trans that it smooths and transitions. And I'm gonna take this Fenty powder in Honey and I'm gonna set all the highlighted areas. And now I'm dusting away that powder on my lids. And I'm gonna go in with this Morphe bronzer in Phenom. And I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid. A Little bit on the nose, underneath, just to give it a more smoky effect. I wanted this to be more bronzy. Eyeliners on, taking this Morphe, my, not Morphe, Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I really have been enjoying this. Thank you, Alyssa Ashley, for that tip. And I'm just going to dust everything and blend out the powder with the same brush that I used to apply or to set the face. And now I'm gonna take that same bronzer and I'm actually gonna just bronze up the face, bring back some warmth. And I'm just gonna go and spray again because I don't wanna look too powdery. And I'm just pressing that spray into my skin. So now we're going to highlight using this Anastasia Times Amrisi Highlighter. Ooh, this is my favorite part. Look at that. Gorgeous. So I'm going to do the apple, well, the top high points of my cheeks, the nose, do a little mascara, lashes, lips. This has been my favorite go-to lip. I also like the Nitra B Liquid Lipstick. I've been enjoying those too. And so this is the final look. 
going back in with a little bit of more lip liner from Morphe because I like it to be a little bit more defined. So after that, here we go, the finished product. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the voiceovers or not? Thank you so much for watching. Bye.